Well, we are back again here at Goodwill TV breakfast uh, show uh, uh, this morning of, I beg your pardon, uh, of this morning of second day of the week. That is a Tuesday, uh, 30th, a day to go to the end of uh, this month. And uh, remember, at the start of this program, I had promised you that today our guest will be uh, Mr. Anton Mwangi of Sunland Insurance Brokers. Yes, we have been doing for the few uh, weeks that we have uh, been here. And remember, we started on a Wednesday, but now we change to a Tuesday. So be always uh, uh, sure that Mr. Mwangi will be coming to your uh, TV on Tuesday, every Tuesday, uh, for uh, Matas Insurance. And today, Mr. Mwangi is with us in studio. And... Uh, Mr. Mwangi, I would like to welcome you so much. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Andy. Yes. Thank How you was your week? My week was fine, mm -hmm. very eventful. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm relaxed well to continue with the week. Yes. We have made it through January. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's true. It's only a day to, it's go, only a day to, to go to February, rather. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not being longer than the other ones, but uh, yes. it, was, it was quite uh, challenging. Mm -hmm. But we thank God. Right. Here we are. Before we actually start with uh, what is our topic of discussion, uh, remember last week we were discussing about the principles of insurance. Uh, principles of insurance are many, are more than five, and we discussed identity, we discussed uh, utmost good faith, and also we discussed about the proximate cause. Today we shall continue with uh, the other remaining uh, principles. And Mr. Mwangi is here to explain to us what are the others, or to discuss to us which are the other principles of uh, insurance. But Mr. Mwangi, today, in today's paper, the, I had my copy of star. Actually, we start by reviewing what uh, in the local deal is yes. every day. Today, the paper of the day was the star. And on page 11, I got a very, very actually, interesting story. Yes, actually, yes. Families kill loved ones for insurance cash. And I, 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 it just came like a coincidence. Mr. Mwangi is here with us today, uh, speaking about all, um, about insurance matters, and we spoke about claims, or we discussed about claims, uh, the few uh, discussions that we had. And now, uh, the story, Mr. Mwangi, uh, what interested me says, I think you can have your, uh, uh, say, uh, your, your comment on that. At, in year 2022, mm -hmm. Insurance firms suffered 463 million in fraudulent claims. Mr. Mwangi, can, what can be done to, 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 to prevent these fake death claims and prevent the government from losing such a big uh, lump sum? Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. And thank you for the question. I, I think it's a very interesting coincidence mm -hmm. that we're talking about uh, one of the cardinal principles of insurance. And when we talk about principles of insurance, yes. essentially we are saying the foundation. Yes. One of the foundations right. of insurance. Mm -hmm. And it falls very well with the story mm -hmm. uh, of uh, relatives perhaps killing mm -hmm. in quote unquote yes. their, <laughs> their, their loved ones mm -hmm. so they can be able to get mm -hmm. insurance payouts. Yes. First of all is to say that um, and to tell anybody out there listening mm -hmm. that we have a very robust yes. uh, investigation processes. Right. And that's why you see um, we have data mm -hmm. showing that uh, you know, is it 460 something yes, million? million so there is a very big likelihood. Uh -huh. I have not read the whole story, but there is a very good likelihood that yes. you are able to nab and to 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 stop mm -hmm. payment of those, and that's why we can actually be able to say yes. that they are fraudulent uh -huh. because they were fragged out. Yes, and that offends the other principle. Now we mm -hmm. talked to one of the two. We talked today mm -hmm. called insurable interest. Mm -hmm. That's a now our fourth that's our fourth principle, uh, principle called of, uh, uh -huh. insurable interest oh yes insurable which essentially interest. says mm -hmm. that you cannot be able to insure somebody's life mm -hmm. if you have no financial loss to be suffered mm -hmm. by you mm -hmm. let me repeat that repeat please that you cannot insure somebody's life mm -hmm. if you have no financial loss mm -hmm. that you are likely to suffer Mm -hmm. in the event of the death of the person mm -hmm. that you have taken a life cover mm -hmm. on. 
Therefore, the question therefore comes, mm. can a brother take a life cover on yes. the life of a sister mm -hmm. or vice versa? Mm -hmm. Or can you be able to take a life cover on mm -hmm. behalf mm -hmm. of your neighbor? Mm -hmm. In general terms, the answer is an emphatic no. Yes. The only person that you can be able to take a life mm -hmm. cover mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. against their lives mm -hmm. is your spouse. Mm -hmm. Your husband can be able to take a life cover mm -hmm. on the life of the wife. Mm -hmm. And the wife can be able to take mm -hmm. a life cover mm -hmm. on the life of the husband. Mm -hmm. And that's what we call insurable interest. You must yes. be, sh be able to show mm -hmm. the relationship between you and the person that you're taking cover. Right. I cannot insure you a car mm -hmm. in my name mm -hmm. unless I have a financial uh, interest in your vehicle. We yes. have seen, and somebody may, may ask, mm -hmm. then what happens to the vehicles that have loans? Mm -hmm. That's why when we give you, uh, you, you have a loan mm -hmm. with a bank or mm -hmm. any financial institution, mm -hmm. they will ask you to sign a form we call uh, a financial interest form, mm -hmm. which you will be able to uh, indicate mm -hmm. who else has an, an interest in that vehicle. Yes. And both of you mm -hmm. are jointly insured. Yes. Right? Yes. So you will take the insurance in the name of the financial institution that gave you mm -hmm. and your name jointly to mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. become co insurers. Mm -hmm. But the bank cannot be able to take the insurance on their own without right. you. It mm -hmm. must be joint mm -hmm. because there is a financial that principle of mm -hmm. insurable interest. You must be able to show mm -hmm. the relationship. Mm -hmm. So right. this story is um, a classic example of mm -hmm. a showing. Mm -hmm. And if you look at most likely, uh, perhaps of the air, we will be able to read the story. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would want to believe one of the major, um, one of the things that you will be able to see here mm -hmm. is that it must be a relative who have no financial interest yes. for the person he has taken a cover for. Mm -hmm. Let's say a brother. Mm -hmm. You even take a cover on behalf of your father without even his knowledge. Yes. And, and that should be able to tell you if somebody is asking you for your ID, for instance, mm -hmm. um, then what is the interest? Mm -hmm. Right? There are mm -hmm. people who would even take a cover yes. on, because they realize perhaps my brother is falling sick, my sister is yes. falling sick, mm -hmm. and uh, he has quite a bit of... And you take a very nice uh, insurance uh, cover on mm -hmm. their life so that in the event that they die, mm -hmm. then you can collude with a few people at home Yes, um, that you'll be able to get that claim. Mm -hmm. I can assure you, you have to be extremely smart. There are smarter people out there, yes. but be, be prepared mm -hmm. uh, for a serious investigation. Yes, And I would, I would actually tell anybody, especially in the era that today we are mm -hmm. of technology, mm -hmm. don't dare. So, so that principle of uh, atmos good faith, I'm mm -hmm. um, sorry, of uh, insurable interest mm -hmm. is what has been offended. Yes. In this story, somebody mm -hmm. has taken a cover mm -hmm. over the life of somebody. He mm -hmm. has no interest, mm -hmm. uh, financial uh, interest or yes. uh, loss yes. that is going to suffer. Mm -hmm. And that's why now when th this person dies, mm -hmm. you wrote a claim mm -hmm. um, that so-and-so has died. Mm -hmm. And you most likely um, mm -hmm. make documents yes. over their lives. Mm -hmm. uh, but remember, we have a whole system of checking all the way going to the ground, to the mm -hmm. chiefs, mm -hmm. to ensure that but, uh, people have even created the griefs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very interesting. People have created even griefs that if you go back, you'll find a grief somewhere. Yes. But um, uh, few succeed, but mm -hmm. they always try. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you try and mm -hmm. we, you, we, we caught up with you, mm -hmm. of course, you know what they're all uh, says about you. So it's mm -hmm. it, um, it, it, um, uh, an unfortunate situation mm -hmm. that we continue losing such a big amount of money mm -hmm. and therefore make the insurance very expensive. Yes. Um, and this is also what leads to, this is also against public interest. Yes. Because when you now take a cover mm -hmm. on the life of somebody that you have no financial interest in, mm -hmm. even chances of killing this person are very high. Are very high. Yes. Are very, very high. You uh -huh. can connive with people out there yes. to go and kill uh, you are only relative. Mm -hmm. we, we have a few incidences, unfortunately, mm -hmm. where uh, this alleged somebody actually mm -hmm. was the, involved in the death of their relative. Uh, Mr. Mwangi, uh, be, 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 before you wind up, what is the sentence for such a fraudulent uh, uh, or, or, or such cases? You see, the, here there are so many uh, offenses that have been made, mm. uttering false documents, uh -huh. which can take you to seven years, mm -hmm. uh, you know, money by false pretense, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. has also its own sentence. So mm -hmm. it can be one sentence mm -hmm. or it can be several mm -hmm. uh, convictions. Mm -hmm. 
and sentences mm -hmm. uh, depending on the number of offenses that you'll have created because by yes. the time now you come and lodge this claim mm -hmm. you'll have made so many false statements yes and in, in every statement that you make mm -hmm. you will be offending a certain of the provisions of the penal code yes and therefore all those charges so it will depend on the number of charges mm -hmm. that we eventually but at least one of forging uh, uh, forging uh, false documents yes that is a seven year jail mm -hmm. term mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um Sometimes even without an option of a fine. Yes. So, so it is very, very critical mm -hmm. uh, that we 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 we, we desist mm -hmm. from such. I would actually urge anybody. Yes. Uh, to desist. In fact, uh -huh. the work that goes into be able to making a forged a forged claim. Mm -hmm. I think if you put that energy, half of that energy, to even coming to us and say yes. we want to run insurance. Uh -huh. You believe me, be doing very well because there's yes. a lot of work that you do. You have to involve several offices. Yes. From the chief, for instance, you give mm -hmm. some little money if he's, mm -hmm. he's a, you know, if he's a corruptible person, mm -hmm. and many other offices, including mm -hmm. now some of the family members, mm -hmm. because there will be perhaps there will be some places to be signed. Yes. If it's a man, mm -hmm. we need uh, perhaps the signature of uh, the widow mm -hmm. now, the, the, mm -hmm. the wife, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, the next of kids, and all these issues. So how do you go about? It? So it means you have to forge so many documents yes. to make it real. Why so, all that effort? Mm -hmm. I think that energy can be utilized in, uh, uh -huh. uh, in a better way. Yes, utilize that energy in another better and productive way. And uh, Mr. Mwangi has explained one or other principle of insurance uh, relating to this story whereby uh, there are currently, uh, currently six reported cases of uh, in, or involving fake death claims and uh, that has fallen under insurable interest where uh, he has explained that you can't insure another person's life if you haven't financial loss you are likely to suffer in the event of death and now Mr. Mwangi uh, is here with us at the uh, breakfast show here at Goodwill TV and we are uh, looking at the principles of insurance or we are continuing to discuss uh, the principles of insurance we started this last week and if you have any question about anything uh, insurance matters you can always speak to Mr. Mwangi after the program or you can also send your question uh, before the end of the program. Mr. Mwangi can we move to the next uh, principle of insurance? Yes, mm -hmm. um, the other Principle of insurance, mm -hmm. I think I'd given you all of them. Mm -hmm. um, we have covered yes. now four. Four years. We, we can go um, now to another uh, cardinal principle of insurance called contribution. <laughs> contribution. Contribution is also a very important mm -hmm. um, principle of insurance. Mm -hmm. And it simply says that if you take two insurances, again, it's the same insurable risk. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you take a car insurance with two insurance companies. Mm. Those two companies mm -hmm. will contribute mm. to meet your loss. Mm -hmm. And each one of them will not pay the full claim mm -hmm. to the insurable uh, level, mm -hmm. but they will contribute mm -hmm. so to make good. So, so the law has made that possible? To no, that is a contribution. Remember the, our first uh -huh. uh, principle. All, they are all interlinked. Yes. Remember our first principle, we called it indemnity. Indemnity, yes. Indemnity means we're bringing you to the same position you were. Yes. Now, you are here, uh -huh. you take, and, and the, it, sometimes it happens mm -hmm. by even mistake. Yes. Let me give a practical example. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, there may be couples that perhaps they don't hear everything that they do to each other. Yes. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So as a man, I go out there and I take a domestic package cover. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh of our, our house mm -hmm. and all the contents that are there. Mm -hmm. And my wife also goes out there. Mm -hmm. And in, in, the, in the quest of also... Mm -hmm. With you unknowingly. Yes, you know, we are trying to secure the family yes. assets. Yes. She means well, I mean well. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, people didn't share this information. Mm -hmm. um, so both of us take a cover mm -hmm. of the same property, which is yeah. our house and yes. the contents. Mm -hmm. And then there is a loss. Mm -hmm. So... There is fraud, mm -hmm. and our beautiful floor is damaged to the tune of half a million shillings. Mm -hmm. Both of us uh -huh. have a cover. Yes. That is where the principle of contribution comes in. Mm -hmm. To say, mm -hmm. my 
cover the one mm -hmm. me as a husband took and the one that the, the wife took mm -hmm. they all contribute yes to the to the proportion mm -hmm. that we have insured yes for instance me i may have insured uh, 2 million mm -hmm. and she may have insured 3 million yes let's say i didn't add a few things mm -hmm. so we will do uh, mathematics there is a little bit uh, complex it's called average yes. to show uh -huh. what is the contribution of my policy Mm -hmm. which is at uh, 2 million again mm -hmm. is the one that you taken at 5 million mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so it may it, it, there will be some mathematics but both of them would contribute mm -hmm. to the degree mm -hmm. and to make it less easy let's say we had all insured at the same amount of money yes let's say we had a, a good uh -huh. uh, asset register we all read the same way mm -hmm. so each one of us insured at 2 million and this mm -hmm. is just an example mm -hmm. so each of these policies will contribute 50 percent yes of the loss of half a million so each one of the companies will, will pay to mm -hmm. 50. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to offend the first principle that we talked about, indemnity. Mm -hmm. Because if now each company want mm -hmm. to pay their full share mm -hmm. of this loss, mm -hmm. then it means this couple will benefit yes. from a loss. And they are, are not supposed to benefit. they are not supposed to benefit. Because mm -hmm. insurance is, is for compensation. Yes. It's not for benefiting. Yes. In terms of you look like it's a business. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, if you also do that, we now know what we do, then we encourage Mm -hmm. people to be double insuring their properties yes right because mm -hmm. then i know uh -huh. um i can be paid twice mm -hmm. but there's a question that somebody may ask what about uh things like medical cover mm -hmm. life insurance mm -hmm. now the principle of contribution works very well for property insurance mm -hmm. but when it comes to other policies like medical mm -hmm. it, it doesn't it, it can still work yes because you'll bring your bills and they will be paid by this insurance company. Yes. And we may require you to first of all exhaust one. Mm -hmm. All this company takes bills worth 300,000 300, mm -hmm. and the other one takes whatever it tells that perhaps is remaining in the policy. But yes. you will never be, be pay mm -hmm. one bill mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. So if you have a bill of a million shillings mm -hmm. and both of and you have two or three medical covers because you can take two medical covers. Mm -hmm. Remember why you take the, the difference between a property and a medical cover. Mm -hmm. You have no say of what the bills would come to. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So we can take even, and people have even more covers because you mm -hmm. could be working here, mm -hmm. you have a medical cover. Mm -hmm. Where your wife works, they have also been given a medical cover. Mm -hmm. You could also be in a chama or an investment group, you have mm -hmm. taken mm -hmm. also a medical cover. Mm -hmm. But all these covers mm -hmm. will only pay mm -hmm. when one is either exhausted or yes. they share a certain bill, mm -hmm. but they will never be able to pay the same bill mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. So if a bill is for 300000 mm -hmm. one of the insurance companies, you can choose whichever medical cover is easier to pay, yes. and you pay mm -hmm. with it. But mm -hmm. the other insurance company cannot come and say, there was a bill here of 300000 mm -hmm. which was paid, let me pay again. Mm -hmm. So you can see how the issue of contribution comes in. Mm -hmm. But in property, it's very clear because you only have one TV, for mm -hmm. instance. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So when it's damaged, mm -hmm. these two companies put their resources together to mm -hmm. settle and compensate this mm -hmm. uh, one TV. Mm -hmm. So you'll never be in insurers be able to be paid mm -hmm. twice for the same mm -hmm. uh, item. Yes. When it comes to uh, life insurances, mm -hmm. it's slightly different because the life of a person, my life and your life and uh, the life of a listener, mm -hmm. have no limit. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you are paying somebody twice. Yes. There is no limit that I can't be able to put up a, a, a the level of your worthness mm -hmm. in terms of life. Mm -hmm. So even if one policy pays two million, the yes. other one will still pay two million because it doesn't. The life has no mm -hmm. limit as to the worth. But anything mm -hmm. that has a a very determinable mm -hmm. uh, pecuniary amount, mm -hmm. like a phone. Mm -hmm. A phone is fifty thousand shillings, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Uh, differences make up, but it has a very definite value. Yes. Anything that has a definite value, mm -hmm. the principle of contribution works very well. Mm -hmm. The ones that don't have a definite value, like a life of a person, mm -hmm. then those ones, mm -hmm. the, the principle of contribution does not work. So this is majorly to prevent mm -hmm. um, misuse of insurance, mm -hmm. where people will be tempted mm -hmm. then to be taking cover for yes. the same item, for the same property. Mm -hmm twice or thrice mm -hmm. in the hope that each of these can be able to pay mm -hmm. and then you benefit from them all right the principle of them indemnity mm -hmm. uh, remember these principles is like the way you have a, a power conduit yes or or a pipe a mm -hmm. water pipe mm -hmm. it, it should not be able to have a leak anywhere mm -hmm. otherwise then the circuit will not be able to complete. So they are all 
they all complement each other yes. because I definitely make sure that you mm. don't benefit from issues. Contribution makes sure mm. that that benefit mm. does not accrue because if without the principle of contribution, yes. then these two policies, mm. because they have already taken, mm. will pay. Mm. But then it reminds you there is a cardinal principle called indemnity that you should not be able to abuse mm. in terms. So we all contribute, mm. we meet the same cost. Yes. If it's medical, we can agree I have a bill of two million. Uh -huh. My cover is one million. So one can clear the one million mm -hmm. and the other one policy can come and take cover from mm -hmm. uh, where I have left. Mm -hmm. or, you, or, or you can pay half, half. One pays uh, mm -hmm. half a million or half a million. But you mm -hmm. cannot be able to, because again, mm -hmm. that medical bill like a TV or a phone, mm -hmm. it also determines it. It is also has a, a certain threshold, a certain limit, yes. which you don't want to exceed. So that is how the, uh, the principle of contribution mm -hmm. also works. Right. Uh, amazing and uh, a good one at that one. Uh, uh, in that way. And Mr. Mwangi, you have uh, mentioned about medical cover or medical insurance and life insurance. And that, that one has taken me to uh, some very two important uh, insurance uh, policies or insurance. Uh, yes, uh, we have this... Uh, new insurance that the government is coming up with, social health insurance fund that is paving way for national health insurance <coughs> fund. Where does this uh, fall under Mr. Mwangi? Does it fall under your, the normal insurance docket or that is a, a different docket from uh, the work that you do? Um, thank you for that question because it's very pertinent. Mm -hmm. It falls outside of uh, the ambit. In fact, uh -huh. the new social health mm. uh, insurance fund mm -hmm. is actually also outside of the insurance act yes and also not under the you know umbrella mm -hmm. of uh, insurance regulatory authority mm -hmm. and, and that's one of the first challenges mm -hmm. because just like we have seen in a few cases when nhif were not able perhaps mm -hmm. to pay yes. you know either hospitals or, mm -hmm. or or take too long to be able to approve mm -hmm. so who oversights them Yes. That becomes a question. I know people mm -hmm. say parliament, mm -hmm. but that, that will require investigations and everything. You know, the kind of oversight we are talking about is mm -hmm. where somebody can be able to intervene and make quick decisions. Mm -hmm. So it's a different body altogether mm -hmm. or from the, that force or from the insurance the way we know of, mm -hmm. uh, that, the, the ones that are regulated under the insurance regulatory authority. Mm -hmm. So we... There is a public participation that is going on. We yes. are also putting in our uh, petition and our memorandum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And our feel is that um, as much as everybody can be able to, and of course, mm -hmm. when the law has been passed, we all have to um, to comply with. Yes. But we are seeking, because now we are seeking people's views. Mm -hmm. We are seeking exemptions to those people who have insurances. Mm -hmm. For instance, mm -hmm. take somebody who have um, who is earning a million insurance. Yes. He's supposed today to be paying 27500 mm -hmm. per month. Mm -hmm. Times 12 years, Yes, that is in excess of almost 320000 Yes, And remember, he's our own and his family and all that. Mm -hmm. That competes with one of the, some of the most priced medical covers mm -hmm. in our market. Mm -hmm. Now, that person mm -hmm. already has such a medical cover that yes. he has paid. Yes. An equivalent amount of money. Mm -hmm. And now the law has come in and mm -hmm. is requiring him to pay a similar amount of money. Yes. That is, that is what, perhaps almost what you'd call in law job, job, double job. But uh -huh. Because now you are forcing somebody to take another cover when he yes. has already yes. another very good cover. Uh -huh. um, and therefore, we would, our petition and our plea to the formulators of this um, scheme to the government mm -hmm. is that anybody who can be able to justify that yes. he has his cover, mm -hmm. can he be exempted? Mm -hmm. Just like the way we saw with the issues of pension. Yes. Because if you're already learning uh, a pension scheme, that mm -hmm. is learning, you've already contributed money, so yes. what will happen to it? Mm -hmm. So what will happen to the policies currently right. that are in force? Uh -huh. So that's why we are saying, mm -hmm. I think let's be, we, we sober over this issue, mm -hmm. we discuss about it, mm -hmm. we believe it's a good the, the intention is good, mm -hmm. but the implementation also needs to put also other aspects mm -hmm. of business. Mm -hmm. If you kill the industry today, because mm -hmm. there is a very uh, real danger mm -hmm. <clears throat> that you interfere with the existing policies yes. that we uh, are currently running, mm -hmm. um, then what would happen if there is a problem with the scheme doesn't work well? Yes. It may uh, so well also mm -hmm. damage. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. 
damage mm. our uh, insurance industry, particularly mm. the medical insurances. Mm. It employs people. Mm -hmm. There are service providers that mm. are contracted. Mm. There are very many things that actually can go wrong. Mm. So this transition, mm. um, the intention of, of government to ensure that we cover everybody is well. Mm. And remember our working relationship with the new body predecessor, which is NHIF, mm -hmm. has been very smooth. Mm -hmm. We knew definitely what NHIF was covering, mm -hmm. and we were, we were covering anything beyond what they were covering. And therefore, we think that there are some mechanisms that can be put in place. Mm -hmm. So that the same sort of um, symbiotic relationship yes. can actually be able to continue. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, as it is now, uh, we believe that it's going to have quite a bit of challenges yes. uh, with the current policies as they are. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, we, we, a lot of us in, in the private sector, we already have uh, covers that are existing. Yes. They are running, we are paying for them. Mm -hmm. Now, again, if we have to pay um, another cover, mm -hmm. uh, that would be, uh, that is cover over a cover, and I think that will really be jeopardized mm -hmm. in the financial status of very many companies and mm -hmm. very many individuals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. That is Mr. Mwangi of Sunland Insurance Brokers. We are discussing today about the principles of insurance, and we have just uh, come from uh, discussing the uh, fifth uh, principle of insurance, that is contribution, and that is what has taken us to uh, just mentioning about the new insurance uh, that is being uh, put in place by the government, the Social Health Insurance Fund, that is uh, meant to pave way for uh, the uh, normal one that we know, the National Hospital Insurance Fund. And when things will be set in place, we shall know which are the uh, way to go. And now to our next uh, principle of uh, uh, insurance, Mr. Mwangi. This is what you call subrogation. Subrogation mm -hmm. as a principle basically has, in, in, in its simplest form, it just says this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When one party has settled your claim, mm -hmm. they have a right to enter into your shoes mm -hmm. and pursue the party mm -hmm. that was negligent. Mm -hmm. And let me give an, a, a very simple example. Mm -hmm. One insurance company has insured my car or your mm. car or our viewer's car. Mm. This car that is insured by this particular insurance com mm. company, let's call it company A, mm. the company A settles my motor vehicle claim because they were involved in an accident. Yes. I was not the one to blame. Mm -hmm. It is the other party that was to blame. Mm -hmm. So my insurance company, which mm. we are calling company A, mm. uh, repairs my car and yes. it gives me back my car. Mm -hmm. But they will not have covered, suffered that loss. Yes. Were it not for the insurance, the insured mm -hmm. of company B. Mm -hmm. Right? There mm -hmm. are two, remember for an accident here. I think I didn't get that there. Yeah. There are two uh -huh. insurance companies, company mm -hmm. A and company B. A and B. A and B. Mm -hmm. So insurance A, mm -hmm. insurance one party. Insurance one party. And the other insurance, mm -hmm. the other party. Mm -hmm. the second party second party so mm -hmm. these first party and second party vehicles mm -hmm. they are involved in an accident yes and the vehicle insured by uh, insurer a is mm -hmm. damaged yes because of the negligent manner mm -hmm. of uh, insured by number b yes right just a normal accident yes because now my company has suffered a loss of 200,000, let's mm -hmm. assume they spent 200,000 shillings mm -hmm. to repair my car. Yes. They will not have spent that money, were mm -hmm. it not for the, the negligence, negligence of company B. Of company B's insured. 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 Yes. Insured, is it? Yes. Because yes. The companies are just insured. Yes. But the negligence is because of the insured. He's the one who knocked at my vehicle, mm -hmm. he was driving wrong on the wrong side, and everything else. Mm -hmm. So. The principle of subrogation, therefore, mm -hmm. uh, dictates mm -hmm. that my insurer, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. who set on my claim mm -hmm. and suffered that loss, mm -hmm. has now the right mm -hmm. to enter into my space mm -hmm. and claim from your insurer, insurer B, yes. or claim from uh, the insured B, uh -huh. right, for the loss he incurred on my yes. behalf. Yes. So he gets into my shoes mm -hmm. and acts on my behalf. Yes, that is a principle of subrogation. subrogation. Mm -hmm. So essentially, where you are giving the right mm -hmm. of one 
party mm -hmm. to get into the uh, shoes of another mm -hmm. for purposes of recovery of losses that they will not have incurred. Yes. So, so, so it's because then what would have happened is that if you knock my car mm -hmm. and my car and my insurance company serve as loss, mm -hmm. then I am disadvantaged. If, yes. if I don't have, if we don't have this principle, mm -hmm. then everybody will be going on with their life. Mm -hmm. But I have my uh, we, uh, my company has served. Now there are companies in town, especially those who do a lot of uh, public service vehicles or yes. insure a lot of vehicles. Mm -hmm. Then they will be very good, grossly uh, disadvantaged. Because mm -hmm. the more you have more vehicles, mm -hmm. the more likely that you pay more claims to your to the persons that you have insured. Yes. Now if you have no leeway of recovery. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Of recovery of that money mm -hmm. uh, from the people who knocked, they are, you are, are insured, mm -hmm. then you continue accumulating losses. Mm -hmm. But now this principle ensures that if you knock my insured and I repair mm -hmm. and their car, or mm -hmm. I, you know, then I have a right mm -hmm. to recover mm -hmm. from you. Mm -hmm. So both of us have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. And this makes it very easy when it comes to recovery. Mm -hmm. Because Insurance companies, as we grew up, they, they had a uh, behind-the-scenes uh, agreement called knock for knock, mm -hmm. where, they, where <laughs> now they would agree, uh, uh, your vehicles, I'm yeah. supposed to be recovering 5 million shillings from you. Yes. But remember also my vehicles, uh -huh. I've also knocked yours, yes. I've also repaid. So at the end of a certain period, whatever, mm -hmm. whether it's a year or whatever, mm -hmm. they will sit down mm -hmm. and agree, let's do some sort of soap. Uh -huh. I owe you million, five million shillings that I'm supposed to refer to you. Yes. You owe me three million that you are supposed to refer to me, yes. you know, for mm -hmm. the ones that have paid, mm -hmm. for you when I have paid. Mm -hmm. and, and then we agree and we see who owes what. Yes. And, and, and depending on who has higher, mm -hmm. the first to make to the other. Yes. Then they agree to knock off and set off and then we pay the balance. Yes. So that makes it very, very easy. Yes. It will not have been very possible without this. Uh -huh. uh, principle mm -hmm. because now it is because it's a cardinal and fundamental one for mm -hmm. us as an industry mm -hmm. when we know we need to set, settle down and agree and it eases a lot of having us to take each other to court mm -hmm. so the subrogation um, principle therefore it's uh, it more well acts mm -hmm. within the industry itself yes because it allows uh, the party that has suffered a loss mm -hmm. to be able to recover that loss mm -hmm. from the party that uh, inflicted that loss so can the subrogation principle be, if, what if uh, it's a coincidence, the insured are parties from the same company? Then, then now you set off, you have nobody to recover from. Yes. So, so that one you uh -huh. basically, mm -hmm. in fact, in mm -hmm. some of those instances, mm -hmm. There are some insurance companies that actually waive what we call a lot of people who insure vehicles. They know there is something called excess. Excess. So uh -huh. if if you are if if, if you involved in an accident with a person who is with, with, you know you are insured, both insured by the same company, yes. they actually can waive excess uh -huh. because if they take excess from you, mm -hmm. uh, an excess is the first portion of the money that you pay when a loss occurs. Mm -hmm. I expect you to refer to me the loss when you recover from the other party, uh -huh. but it's this, but you are the same. Because you are the same company. Mm -hmm. So there are some that are reasonable enough and say, okay, mm -hmm. in this way we are going to uh, waive the payment of excess. But in those mm -hmm. instances, it becomes very easy mm -hmm. because then that one you have to absorb yourself. Yes. It's just like when you have uh, a known accident, you, have, you cannot be able to recover mm -hmm. uh, that money from anybody. Mm -hmm. For instance, if let's say you are... Uh, driving. Mm -hmm. There are some houses, depending on how whether it's a hilly place or not, as you the the the, the, the gate is being opened, yes. wind blows the the, mm -hmm. the, the, the gate, <laughs> and uh, and as you are passing, just closes on you and perhaps damages the car. It's yes. an accident, mm -hmm. and the insurance company will honour that claim. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, they have nobody to recover from. Yes. So in that case, then it's an absorbed uh -huh. cost. Mm -hmm. Here, it's where you have right against another person, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, subrogation acts where you have right against another mm -hmm. person. That's mm -hmm. when it comes in and plays mm -hmm. a very critical role. Thank you. Uh, that is uh, another principle of uh, uh, insurance that you have a right uh, of another person. And when one party has settled your claim, they have to pursue the party that uh, was uh, in negligence. And now, uh, Mr. Mwangi, to our last uh, principle of uh, insurance, loss minimization. Loss minimization. And before you uh, get into that uh, principle, thank you so much. Uh, you are watching uh, this program. Uh, 
uh, Evanson Kamau, thank you, Melvin Slimi, and Edward Mose, Jerry Ndongo, Katifaro Motonyi, Peter Peak, and more others, uh, Geshira, thank you, uh, glad that you are watching. Now, Mr. Mwangi, to loss minimization. Loss minimization basically mm. is almost like what it, it, it's term, it's, it's uh, you know, um, written. Mm -hmm. To minimize loss. To minimize loss. Mm -hmm. And what it simply means is, and it's a very important, mm -hmm. though it's a small one, but it's a very critical one. Because mm -hmm. again, it can bring many issues. Mm -hmm. But it simply means this. Mm -hmm. Though you are insured, mm -hmm. you must act as though you are not insured when there is a loss. Mm -hmm. So you must continue uh, minimizing the losses that are likely to escalate mm -hmm. as a result of a loss. Even mm -hmm. if you are insured, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You are expected to continue mm. um, minimizing the chances of loss escalating. Mm. Again, an example, mm. and, I, and, I, and, and, I, and I'm giving the example so that people can understand easily. Mm -hmm. So if you have a car mm -hmm. and it's involved in an accident that is on the car or any other road, mm -hmm. unless it's, there is a very a compelling reason why you must leave your car unattended. Yes. That vehicle should not be left unattended. It yes. was just a small accident, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Let's say let's say there was not even a, another party. Yes. Let's say you went into a ditch, mm -hmm. hit uh, a road curb, mm -hmm. so the car tire or cannot move. Yes. Then you leave that car unattended mm -hmm. to go and look for help. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You all offered the principle of loss minimization. Yes. Unless there is a compelling reason, mm -hmm. right? Let's mm -hmm. say it's a risky place or you are chased by people. But if you just leave a car unattended, uh, and therefore now mm -hmm. thieves come, mm -hmm. they now break into the car that was okay, mm -hmm. they steal the stereo, they remove the tires, yes. and they inflict other damages to the car. Mm -hmm. The insurance company have a right based on loss minimization mm -hmm. to reject that claim. Yes. And remember again the proximate the way we were talking remember we had one of the principles I think the second one we were talking about mm -hmm. the proximate cause. Yes. So what is the proximate cause now of mm -hmm. this new loss that has emerged? <laughs> yes. You, you see the how they support each other. Yes. So if it is a house, uh -huh. that's why we we, we request you mm -hmm. make sure that your house is locked. Yes. But if you leave your house open, mm -hmm. you again offered the principle of Cross minimization yes. because then it means that you make it very easy for any person passing by to just walk into your house mm -hmm. without any force mm -hmm. and break, I mean, you just open mm -hmm. and, and take out yes. something. Uh -huh. If it is a laptop and you are carrying a car, the, let's say your car does not have, I mean, you have a boot mm -hmm. and you have carrying um, your laptop, mm -hmm. the law of minimization would require you mm -hmm. to act as if you are not insured. What, you do, what would you do if you are not insured? You mm -hmm. take that laptop mm -hmm. or any other valuable item from the, the, the back seat of the car and put it in the boot yes. of a car. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't have a boot, perhaps a compartment or even under the, the seat mm -hmm. where nobody can actually be able to see it. Yes. So that now you don't entice anybody passing. Because mm -hmm. that, that looking at it and seeing that there is a very valuable Item. Uh, item at the back mm -hmm. of the seat mm -hmm. is what now can exacerbate and cause even the, the need for yes. this person to break in mm -hmm. and are also cars. Mm -hmm. So that loss minimization, therefore, as a principle, mm -hmm. um, compels or basically uh, you know, exhorts the insured person yes. to act uh -huh. in the best interests mm -hmm. of the insured property and ensure that mm -hmm. he minimizes. Mm -hmm. The chances of loss mm -hmm. and minimizes losses, mm -hmm. even when there is an accident. Mm -hmm. um, if there is a fire, yes, and there is a chain of houses, let's yes. say owned by the same person, yes, and you realize that this um, fire is mm -hmm. going to wipe out mm -hmm. this whole estate. Mm -hmm. The loss minimization principle can kick in if you basically demolish one of the house. Yes. To have a fire break uh -huh. and you'll be compensated for this house. Like mm -hmm. you demolished. Just like the way they do. You have minimized the you loss. You have there. minimized the losses and you have acted in the best interest. Otherwise, mm -hmm. this fire mm -hmm. would, would have actually spread. Yes. Perhaps to the entire head of these houses yes. and the losses would be 
much more you know yeah. catastrophic just mm-hmm. again also like in the in the in the in the in the insurance of the of the sea what mm-hmm. we call marine insurance mm-hmm. when they start there are turbulences mm-hmm. the captain is obliged to throw in fact in the bible you remember in the olden days mm-hmm. the, you know people used to be tossed out like the days of john like the days of john <laughs> <laughs> you'll be tossed out and because you know to make the ship uh, uh-huh. you know but then so, everybody uh, else can you be insured you are tossed in the lake well now of course today as a human being so what <laughs> now the law requires you is that you can actually be able to throw away yes um with yeah. excess cargo or uh-huh. cargo that you think will be able to make the ship uh-huh. stable mm-hmm. and then everybody else who has cargo in that ship will yes. contribute yes right will uh-huh. contribute uh-huh. to your loss yes because without again minimizing on that loss uh-huh. or potential loss mm-hmm. the entire ship and everybody else would have lost yes. including the loss of human being yes. uh, which is not you cannot be able to compensate mm-hmm. so you can see how the they interrelate they interrelate and how yes. loss of the, the loss minimization yes. then becomes very a very critical principle mm-hmm. because on what basis then would i settle Mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. because if i knew that i'm not going to if i demolish this house to break this fire mm-hmm. i will lose my house that i demolished mm-hmm. then i would rather just let the fire Continue spread, spread and burn the 50 houses yes. and the insurance company pay mm-hmm. but now most likely i, ha- I would save i one was on fire yes. or two uh-huh. i i demolish the third one uh-huh. and i save 47 yes so without again that principle mm-hmm. somebody will tell you no you should have allowed the, the course of nature to take its course but now i'm supposed to act in the best interests mm-hmm. as if i am not because mm-hmm. even if you didn't have a cover chances are that a human being and thinking normally that most likely what you would do mm-hmm. remove the path of fire or mm-hmm. whatever basically would be able to stop this fire and mm-hmm. you see even in forests mm-hmm. they cut they, they cut a whole chunk of Let's say they go ahead like five kilometers mm-hmm. or three kilometers, mm-hmm. and they cut all the trees yes. around the way, uh-huh. so that this fire, mm-hmm. when it gets there, basically there is it stops. Know, it stops because mm-hmm. there is now no um, fuel yes. to propel the fire ahead. Mm-hmm. So it's a very very critical. Um, mm-hmm. So it, it basically helps in managing mm-hmm. um, losses, yes. uh, processes. Mm-hmm. And, and and helps the insured basically then to act in the very best interest yes. of their properties mm-hmm. and and therefore you cannot be able to uh, for instance give an excuse mm-hmm. of why um, you didn't mm-hmm. you know act in the best interest yes. if your vehicle you realize that if i leave it here mm-hmm. it would be damaged mm-hmm. uh, it would be broken into mm-hmm. then we allow you to hire a vehicle a, yes. a, a towing vehicle yes. and remove this vehicle to a safer place mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and we will be able to pay that uh, for that for those two in charges uh-huh. because if you don't do that then mm-hmm. there is a very like because you may say we didn't have money or i didn't uh, this is a loss yes and i will not be indemnified mm-hmm. because then i would have spent money that i cannot be able to pay but now we are saying even that uh, towing charges mm-hmm. uh, so that there is really no reason why mm-hmm. that you cannot be able to have towed that vehicle to a safer place however mm-hmm. should it be dangerous like mm-hmm. now if you go and uh, you can't go throwing yourself let's say into the fire mm-hmm. in the process and you burn so as you can be you insured so you that you can be insured be, and so that you can now be compensated, you can be compensated. Mm-hmm. now that is something that is against public interest and then that will not be covered mm-hmm. so you must it must be something that you are it's within your power mm-hmm. to be able to act on mm-hmm. um if you realize this place um people come with knives and guns and they are chasing you mm-hmm. you can hold on to your car and say yes, yes. so the proximate cause of then the future the the, the the subsequent losses mm-hmm. it's it's still the same accident mm-hmm. but now because the train of events is not broken mm-hmm. remember it was an accident mm-hmm. then people came they wanted to beat you there is evidence to that effect for instance like god forbid and i i, I hope uh, our viewers who are in the border border industry can especially you know can can bear mm-hmm. can forgive me but we have seen a trade by a few which yes. is very unfortunate uh-huh. where now an accident happens mm-hmm. we saw it in ketengera the other day yes just the other day just the other day mm-hmm. so in that situation you can't stay in the car yes so that you protect your car yes um you you take precautions so running away for your life that is also part of running away may also be loss minimization yes. because you can lose a life yes 
with serious consequences, mm -hmm. life covers and many other covers that can come. So in. that tells me, Mr. Mwangi, we have to be very well uh, acquainted with the principles Absolutely. of insurance with anybody who is insuring his Absolutely. or her property. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And, and the reason why uh, I really love this platform, because it has enabled us now to be able to, be, to discuss yes. with our customer. Yes. Uh, because you see, you come in and then we are telling you, why didn't you do this? And those mm -hmm. are the things that now. What now people call us? Because they are not listed in the policy document. Yes. These are principles. Should that be done, actually? It, it can be, then it be very wrong. Just mm -hmm. like the way when you are walking on the streets. Mm -hmm. you, you don't go fighting the constitution of Kenya everywhere. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. or, or you don't go, but then if you, if you, hit, if you slap somebody, all yes. of a sudden, mm -hmm. uh, somebody will read you the pen code and say, under this section of this God, you did wrong. <laughs> So what if it's I like ask for, for it's, it's the... It's like football. Uh -huh. uh, you, you, it's not written anywhere. You yes. don't see anybody getting the rule book when it comes to the field. I hope you are yes. a football fan. Yes, Of course, you know we are in the era. We have not slept tonight. You know, we were just watching... Uh, uh, you are supporting whoever. Uh, I want to say no. But uh, now, that's... that's uh, <laughs> so I said the, the, team, the best team won. Yes. Um, uh -huh. You don't see the rule book being led by to every... Uh, uh, prayer when they come to the field. Yes. But you see, if they know. Yes. You know, you slap somebody even if accidentally. A red card can easily yes. be flashed on you. Yes. So it's exactly also now with the rules of insurance. Right. They are ingrained because they are the principles. They are the foundation of the mm -hmm. rules that are there. Yes. And you are supposed to know them. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, this is now where, in, like in most other instances, mm -hmm. we go wrong. Yes. Because we don't uh, interrogate and we don't mm -hmm. spend a little bit of time uh, on the principle. So they are very, very, very important. Yes. Um, and perhaps mm -hmm. time allowing, we can have some other time again to go through them again and again and again and again. Yes. Because they are very critical. Always what I think, Mr. Mwangi, is the next time you'll be joining us because our time is over now, we shall uh, just go uh, briefly and... Uh, 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 go back to the principles of insurance briefly, the year seven, and Mr. Mwangi will be doing so next week while we meet. And uh, it has been a great honor and pleasure having you uh, as our viewer in this program. And uh, in just 30 seconds, Mr. Mwangi just wind up on this uh, uh, whole topic of principles of insurance. Yes, um, I would urge our viewers. Um, mm -hmm. Whenever you want to buy insurance, make sure that you buy. Uh -huh. And that's why we have an association called the Association of Insurance Brokers of Kenya. Yes. Our members are all thoroughly trained mm -hmm. in the various facets of insurance. Mm -hmm. um, you can find us uh, at the College of Insurance. Mm -hmm. And if you walk there or even Google uh, from IRA portal, mm -hmm. it will be all the registered insurance mm -hmm. uh, brokers of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And please make sure that you do business with one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, because they are there now, you know. Because mm -hmm. it is the responsibility yes. of each and every of our members mm -hmm. to educate their customers. Yes. Uh, and and if, then you give me a cover. Mm -hmm. And as a result of not knowing I offered any of this and you didn't uh, advise me, mm -hmm. I have a recourse. I can have a recourse against you. you yes. Know. yes. Uh, therefore, even for our members mm -hmm. of... Uh, Association of Insurance Brokers of Kenya. Mm -hmm. We have a very cardinal, um, you, know, please, you know, a very, very important task mm -hmm. of ensuring that our members are, are mm -hmm. trained. Yes. Otherwise, insurance is important, is, is important for the industry. Mm -hmm. And especially at a time like now when there are so many risks that are going on, mm -hmm. we need to ensure that at least we understand mm -hmm. so that we, when we, we get covers, yes. we don't offer any of them and then our claims are rejected. Mm -hmm. And then we say insurance doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Um, so I want to thank you and um, all mm -hmm. our viewers for this time. Yes. And I hope that they have learned something. And please mm -hmm. feel free. Mm -hmm. Our services, mm -hmm. just like today, are yes. always free. Mm -hmm. We'll be more than happy to engage with you mm -hmm. and give you more information because time here may not be enough for us to be able to say everything. And that's very, very true. As you have heard it from uh, Mr. Mwangi, Anton Mwangi is uh, from Sunland Insurance Brokers and he is also the chairman of uh, Insure, uh, Kenya uh, Association. Association of Insurance Brokers. You can always reach him through his number 0722 uh, to uh, write. I'll, giving, I'll be giving you that number very shortly. And uh, this has been your 
uh, breakfast show this morning here at uh, Goodwill TV. Uh, be sure to join us next time on Tuesday with Mr. Mwangi as we continue with uh, uh, other topics about uh, insurance. Mr. Mwangi's number is 0722861. Double one five zero seven two two eight six one double one five. It's now over uh, this morning. Let us meet uh, tomorrow uh, from six a.m. to eight a.m. for our breakfast show. Uh, for me, goodbye for now and have yourself a very very good day. And keep watching all our other programs across the day.